Welcome everyone and welcome with a new channeling of the Council of Light. And in this week we have a question from one of the viewers, so I will read it to you. I have a question. You talk a lot about embracing light and shadow to transcend a lot. I can understand transmuting shadow into light, pain into virtue, weakness into strength. But I have the impression we must fight the darkness that dwells in our souls at the same time that we feed the light. In my limited perception as a human being, the light dark energies are similar to construction and deconstruction energies. So that's quite a long question, but I do understand your question. So we have just asked it, let's, so let's see what the Council of Light has to say about your question. And this is more a complicated one because they are showing me images before they speak. So I will describe the images with you. They, they are showing me um, a light and dark being in perfection. So the amount of dark energies and the amount of light energies in perfect balance. And they are showing me it on a, a Libra scale. So I'm quite curious what they want to say. Thank you so much for your question. And we understand your question from a human perspective. But the only answer we can give you is the answer from our perspective. And yes, we are looking at the world from a seventh dimension perspective. But we hope our answer is giving you hope and lightness where humanity is going. First of all, please understand the history of Earth. In the history of Earth, shadow and light vibrations are always clashing and growing together. That is also why Earth is such an interesting planet. The energies are going fast and slow at the same time. Shadow vibrations are moving way slower and are more dense than lighter vibrations. Lighter vibrations are going faster and moving quicker to change. Humanity, with their human bodies, are quite unique vessels to experience all kinds of vibrations. And of course, we understand that you have a preference for the lighter vibrations because it's easier to feel in your body and faster to digest in your body. But from our point of view, the truth lies in truly feeling that all vibrations are welcome to be felt in your human body which also means that the shadow vibrations need more time and yes, more love and awareness to digest. So your word fighting the shadow vibrations is in our point of view not the correct one. Humanity is learning that the love vibration from a compassionate heart is truly the biggest weapon you have. To be open and sensitive in your human body is your unique point of view to truly conquer everything. So yes, from our point of view, we are truly accepting your fighting perspective. But if you are truly aware of the depth of your heart, you can be open for any vibration to embrace. 
and with this greater love and remembrance of your true potential, you are not fighting anymore. And yes, we understand that all souls are playing their part here on earth. So you must realize that some of you are battling more with shadow vibrations than others. So we understand from a human perspective that for some people life is more heavy than for others. But if you truly see life as an opportunity of growth, a deeper chance of falling deeper into the love inside yourself, life can become truly deepening in a soul's purpose. Do you understand what we are trying to say? If you are experiencing a lot of shadow vibrations and it will give you the opportunity to fall deeper into compassion and love. The truth is that you are falling deeper with the deepest treasure you are actually looking for. And yes, we understand that life is tough and you are truly getting hit by life and the pain is almost unbearable. It is a opportunity to truly feel all the vibrations in the sensitivity of your body. Please remember that we are choosing our own soul path. Our soul path is one of love. We will repeat. Our true soul path is one of love. So the moment we are experiencing shadow vibrations, please allow yourself to feel this as an opening to become more sensitive of our ground of love. So if you are being hit by life, truly feel the sensitivity of the pain, the sensitivity of your anger, the sensitivity of your hate or aggression, maybe even shame or pain, fear of the feeling of being lost. When falling deeper into shadow vibrations, your soul can truly dive into the light. And this is, from a human perspective, sometimes difficult to understand. But the only thing we can give you as an answer is to trust, allow, surrender and be sensitive. These are the ingredients that our system can digest the lower frequencies easier into our bodies. And yes, this is also easier so the higher frequencies can reach us even faster. To truly feel what is happening in the experience of now. Do you understand that stepping into the now with a sensitive heart is the only solution to truly surrender to the depth and lessons of our soul? We have the capacity of embracing it all. So next time when you are experiencing very intense shadow vibrations, see if you can smile or even make a joke about it. It reminds us of the deeper playground of love while we are experiencing. 
a greater opportunity so higher vibrations can wake us up in the ability to embrace. Our greatest weapon is compassion. Please enjoy every experience which is happening inside your body, shadow or light. A deeper remembering that all is here to remind us of our love. Thank you so much for this question. And of course, I'm in a human vessel as well. So sometimes it's so difficult when life is very intense to truly experience this more love vibration so we can embrace all experiences. So thank you so much for your question. This is quite soothing for me too. 